Ah, December. Many employees and college students like to send video file seasons greetings at this time of year. If you've seen Rudolph crashing into a window or a snowman stalking a child, then you know what I mean. <clears throat> These humorous videos add 2 to 3 megabytes to an email when sent as an attachment. Now, 2 to 3 megabytes doesn't sound like much until you start adding up all the students or employees. A slew of seasonal attachments can swamp mail servers and choke internet bandwidth. The bigger the company or university, the harder their bandwidth tends to fall in December. Do the right thing. Point your friends to a website address in your Xerox Xmas email. Don't send large attachments. <clears throat> Enough said. Oh, great advice, Rob, but what does this have to do with the virus hysteria? I'm glad you asked. Your network guru may send a warning to everyone to avoid video files because they may contain viruses. <clears throat> Ignore the fib. He just wants to protect the network by scaring you into doing the right thing. Don't bother to ask your network guru to explain how a video file can carry a virus. He'll just come up with some sort of rationalization to protect his fragile ego. You'll hear something like, Rudolph.exe is an executable program file which can blah blah blah, so I didn't lie when I called video files a dire threat to the blah blah blah, and you'd better not disobey me because I'll blah 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 to upper management blah blah blah. <laughs> Of course, you can have a little fun at the network guru's expense if he fibbed in an email. He tried to scare you, so why not scare him back? Hit the reply button and say, V-Myths wrote about you in a column. <laughs> but don't call him a liar in your reply. He might punish you by locking your email account. <clears throat> Enough said. I'm Rob Rosenberger for V-Myths. That's V M Y T H S dot com truth about computer virus hysteria be there or be scared <laughs>